2015 uh, Acura TLX. So it's T as in Tom, L as in Lincoln, X as in X-Ray. So TLX. So it's got the electronic brake in the back, and I'm simply just going to be doing just some rear brakes on this car. Uh, I just this is my first time doing this one. I did the other side because that was the worst one. The lady uh, drove the pad down and you know completely killed the uh, rotor. Luckily, um, despite the piston extending out pretty far, she only just damaged the boot, so it was capable of being work uh, being repaired. As far as this goes, it's, it, despite it having an electronic system, there's nothing to be intimidated of. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it with some basic tools, big pair of channel locks, and uh, 13 millimeter uh, flathead, uh, not a flathead, but a, but a punch pin, and a Phillips, maybe a hammer, and uh, maybe a pick to be able to get this connector off pretty easy. Other than that, it's pretty much simplistic like any other brake job. And it's a T30 I use to get these this two uh, T30 torx bits right here. And then there's one in the back on the uh, 180 degrees from this. So uh, you will also need some a C-clamp uh, if you don't have the special tool to compress the piston. So I'm, it's going to take a little longer using just some basic hand tools like the... Uh, um, You'll have to use the C clamp and the big channel locks in tandem. So you have to use those together to get the piston to push forward and then to twist the um, piston in also. So they'll it'll work out for you. It's just gonna take a lot longer, but I'm gonna show you how to do that with just those basic stuff because I know a lot of people probably don't have the special tool. And um, the only thing you probably run a risk on is just damaging the boot there. But it's not going to, honestly, I mean, ideally you wouldn't want that, but realistically, it's not going to keep you from work, uh, driving a car. Things happen. Uh, it's literally exposed to elements. So it may just, what it will do if the boot is tarnished, damaged, uh, just, it's, it's going to inhibit the uh, lifespan. So it's just going to take away from it. So it's not going to last as long, ideally, um, uh, if, if it wasn't compromised. So... Uh, let's get to it. Just use my T30 here to get this Electronic an actuator off here. Now you can't push down on this tab here, but uh, I just took the route of actually releasing the locking mechanism inside of there. So I'm simply attach it and remove it. Again, the uh, brake has to be off just to give you a visual on the inside how it looks. There's the opposite ends there, the holes I was referring to. Thirteen. 
18 millimeter pliers to hold the guide in place. This does have a lot tight on it too, by the way. Yeah, both of her cars. Yeah, you said both cars or something. I just remember. I saw her last, last week. I see it with your car. <laughs> the uh, challenging part here uh, is getting this piston pushed back in. Like I said, you're going to need a C-clamp to put uh, downward pressure on the piston and then you're just going to take your very, very big pair of pliers and uh, go into a clockwise motion to get it to retract back in. Twist this in with these big pliers here. Now, despite what people may feel about this, just hit that dislike button. I'm cool with that. piston a little bit. Uh oh. Just give it a little downward pressure. See it moved a little bit. And then just keep on turning. A 
and then you basically just repeat the process so if it stopped turning if it stopped turning um, going down as you use the pliers then you take the C clamp push down on it again and just like I said just administer some downward pressure it'll it'll work out it's going to take a while but um, just want to show that part of it uh, once I get this piston down here we'll uh, get everything back installed in reverse order I swear this camera doesn't like natural light uh, let's see here So for the most part, I mean, it's the same as any other brake job. I mean, the only thing is you're just taking off the, the electronic motor in the back. I guess that's pretty much it. But at least we can all see what it looks like before we actually work on it. test fit before I put any grease on it. No go. Pretty sure people have their own perceptions of, of uh, adding grease on here, but you know they. Some people add them on the seats here, on the uh, retainers. I don't know, like uh, logically, I, I just imagine it being more purpose-driven, putting it on the back of the pads here. Uh, you know, but everybody do their own thing, so make sure this is not wrapped around. You do have to get that piston sitting pretty far in there, so be prepared for that. So I'm simply just going to add these fasteners back in there for the caliber. Could use a 17 for this, but the thing is, a 17 is a little thick, and I don't feel like fighting with it. 
so it's just be a little easier just to use these pliers here to hold it in place while I get it tightened up. So when you're installing this, you just simply just get the, there's no specific orientation or anything, so you just place the motor on here, uh oh, if I get it right, place the motor on here and it'll on up on its own. Now I will put a little anti-seize on the bolts going into this motor here to prevent any further issues. So I got everything knocked out. Uh, the only thing um, I really would want to do is uh, press the brakes several times and then um, test my uh, parking brake. Make sure everything's fine. And I'm going to do that right now. Everything's good. I'm gonna get everything uh, hooked back up and uh, finish the front brakes. Take everything on a test drive and ship this car off. All right, hit that link. Subscribe to the channel. Stay informed. Have to reassure some of my work. See you on the next one. All right, got everything hooked back up. Uh, this repair wasn't that bad. Um, of course, if it's your first time, it's gonna take a while. Um, but this is my first time. It wasn't that bad at all. This is what I do for a living. So. Uh, so I'll just simply use a pick, 13 millimeter, you could probably need a 17 or a pair of pliers, channel locks if you don't have the uh, special tool to compress the piston, um, let's see 17 in the back also to get the caliber mountain bracket. That sound good. Um, let's see, I think that's probably in the Phillips head and a punch pin to be able to get that, get that screw out there, so this is nothing major. All right, um, I'm going to get the front brakes knocked out and get this car test driven and shipped off. So hit that link, subscribe to the channel, stay informed, and have the reassurance of my work. See y'all next one.